Hallelujah, glory to God. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You are welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me or deciding to click on my video, God bless you. Thank you so much for making that decision. My prayer is that this channel will bless you tremendously. It's going to add to your spiritual life daily in the mighty name of Jesus. I, I come on live here twice every day for us to pray and believe God for the things that he has promised us and for us to know the word of God through the mind of God. Hallelujah. Please consider becoming a part of this family. Subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever we are live, you're not going to miss out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, this prophetic word the Lord gave me is for someone. This is your confirmation because you have been asking yourself several questions lately. Like, what if you fail? What if God doesn't come true for you? What if this part you have taken in life doesn't lead you to the end that you expected? This is the word of the Lord to you. He says, I should tell you, as long as the earth remains, he's going to make you great. He is going to make you great. All the promises that you have received in your life, he says he's going to fulfill them. They are going to come to pass. But there are two things the Lord wants you to do. Two things. God says you should trust and obey him. You should trust and obey Trust that God knows what he is doing. Trust that he has a good plan for you. Trust that he will not let you down and obey what does it mean? It means anything the Lord tells you to do, you're going to do it to the latter. Because it is in the instructions of God that lies our next level. That lies the fulfillment of prophecies. So you're going to do these two things for God. Forget about every other thing you are saying. If God leads, lays it in your heart for you to pray warfare prayers, you're going to obey him by praying. If God lays it in your heart for you to, you know, sow a seed, you're going to sow a seed. If God lays it in your heart for you to, you know, do a particular sacrifice, visit the poor, study the Bible, do something that is out of yourself, you're going to go ahead and do it. Those are the two conditions the Lord is given. But he says that, do not be scared. Let nothing scare you. Let nothing move you. Do not let the voice of the devil that is speaking in your head gain acceptance. God says, all the promises he has promised you, he is going to fulfill them one after the other. But you've got to trust him and you've got to obey him. Those are the conditions on which he's going to ride with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we thank you for this prophetic word. Lord, I pray that as this, as this word hits the person you have intended it for, it's going to give them hope. It's going to give them the fighting spirit and the fighting ability to keep fighting to keep pushing and to keep pressing onto life for the great and mighty things you have for them. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you and have an amazing day. Shalom.